We're somewhere new today. We're down in West Cork doing the Pekin Loop and the Sheep's Head Peninsula. There's lots of names. The Sheep's Head Peninsula, the Goats Trail, Pekin Loop. And we're going up behind me here. It is very windy, so I hope it's putting it up. Up here to Cahar Mountain. And over this way, sorry for the spinning, is Sea Finn behind me. It is, um, it's, <laughs> it's very windy here. First time ever down here. It looks, it looks like it could be a good one already. So the weather is all right. Fingers crossed. I've said that before though, so. But, um, make a start now. That tomb behind me here, it's fairly well um, broken down. It's still cool, I'll have to read on it when I go home. But um, it's, inc it's, it's incredibly windy. Uh, it's coming over this way. I've actually a bit of shelter here now at the moment, but um, yeah. <laughs> it's not a bad view here though, is it? So we're just um, just about to go up to Car. It's not the highest mountain in the world, but it's, I think it's one of the highest in this ridge. I feel like I've just been beat up. Coming over the ridge there, the wind was absolutely... <laughs> was, this is the first time in, I think, 3K-ish. And yeah, this is the first time in nearly 3K I haven't been beaten by the wind. We're in a bit of a bit of a cold here, a call here. <sighs> it, is a fresh, it is a fresh, it's not cold. That's the one thing, it's not cold. It is very windy though, yeah sure, don't matter. If it's not windy, there'll be something wrong. So now we're gonna head up the last, put up here to the top of Car Mountain. And uh, I don't think there'll be any talking up there, so we'll... So we're down off Cahar now. It is 334 meters or something. Again, it's, it's, it's an absolutely fine walk in nice weather. It's fine today in nice weather. It must be amazing altogether. Um, we're looking across then, not that you can see anything, but to the Mizzen Head Peninsula. And we're on Sheep's Head and over the other side then is the Bearer Peninsula, but you can see the, it's, it's clearing every now and again, but by the time we get the camera out, it's, uh, it's done for. So. We're going to complete this loop now. We could go back the way we came, up over um, Car again, but we just carry on and we'll do the loop. It's a, it's a very well marked loop at the moment. Well, I think the whole sheep's head is very well marked, so that's, that's fairly good. So, um, yeah, we'll carry on that way. Might, when, when we drop down a small bit lower, <laughs> it mightn't be as bad. So, came down there. It is very easy going. A bit wet, but um, it is very well marked out with the, the yellow markers and there's a fairly obvious pattern the way down it as well. It just makes the whole navigation so much easier. Yeah, I'm liking it. I was not expecting this, I knew nothing about it. It's kind of an unusual spot to have a building, whatever whatever it was used for. 
It's a good view anyway. <laughs> Looks like we're beginning to drop off the, the original, not just that how you start, but put that somewhere. But um, over behind me here is the Bearer Peninsula, and you can see Bear Island. But if, if you look, I'm not sure if the camera will pick it out now, but look at the cloud level. So I reckon that's probably 400, 500 meters. So anything above that today would have been a wipe, which would have been carry. So yeah, but um, I'm delighted I came down here. <laughs> just, it is, um, it is a beautiful spot. So yeah, I think we're just dropping down onto, there's a road down there now, and a bit of a road walk back to the start. So I just thought I'd get this out to, to the highest, probably the highest will be for the rest of the day. So we're down off the hillside there, and we're at this car gal. Fine car park here, we'll take a few cars. And uh, that is definitely the, an unusual name, Crimea, okay. So I think now we've um, about 4k of road walking, which is, <laughs> which if it's this type of road, would be no problem whatsoever. So coming down off there, no was wait, as you'd expect, <laughs> it's the middle of February, and we have to go a bit of rain. But all the same, it was, it was wet, muddy, and the dead grass made it kind of slippery. So. You need to concentrate. My old pole saved me a few different times from landing on my backside. So yeah, but very well marked out. You've root markers. You can see them pretty much the whole way. The path is still well defined even in the winter. And uh, the markers, they don't take away from it. They just, you can just concentrate and walk in and looking around because you can, um, you just know where you're going. And there's some parts coming off the top with the way the, the rock formation is very much in straight lines. I'd imagine you could figure it out, but you could spend a long time um, trying to work your way down through it. So it just, it takes all that stress out of it. And having said that, you come back here the next day, you can go off where you want. So it's, um, yeah, so far, this is a great walk. I'd say I'm loving it. The wind was a bit too much up the top, but it's to be expected at this stage. So we fire on now. So we're off that little small, I, I hesitate to call it a main road, but that small road back onto kind of a, not a dirt track, but an old road, no horseshoe road, I think I saw it called. So. I think we, um, we dodged uh, the showers threatening to come in the whole time. But they never seemed to do, but there was just one there. I was hoping to do seafin, but that could wait for another day, maybe in a finer day, or in a less windier day. Um, that was a really enjoyable walk. My first time in the Sheepshead Peninsula. There is five peninsulas in the south of the country. You have Dingle, the Ivory Peninsula, the Bearer Peninsula, Sheepshead Peninsula, and then Mizzenhead. So yeah, it was a first time in the Sheepshead. Thoroughly enjoyed it. So I thought it was finished, I am not. I'm going doing the Sheeps Head Lighthouse, which was only 10 minutes away from where I ended up finished, so I said, um, it's taking me so long to come down to here, it would be worth giving the look out for it. So, we'll see, it is lively down here. It's cool, a lock just above the, the coast, high up in the, the, the head. I've just come down now from the car park towards the lighthouse, still not where the lighthouse is. But uh, <laughs> look, at, look at this.
So we're down at the lighthouse now, Sheep's Head Lighthouse. There, there's, there's nowhere to hide from the wind. I hope this is coming out. <laughs> but uh, my God, it's uh, it's mental. It's fantastic. The, um, I don't think we're going to get a sunset or anything. But uh, it looked it looked like we might there a while ago. But uh, I think th that's gone on. Uh, but um, just Jesus, what watching the the ocean there. <laughs> And I thought it was finished. Better start heading back. So I'm definitely finishing this time. Um, if you've stayed around for this unexpected extra at Sheep's Head Lighthouse, thanks for watching. Um, Again, you might like and subscribe, probably help us out somehow. And sure, we might see you in the next one. Good luck.